So I got a request for this song in my inbox the other day, and I want to thank the person who sent it to me because I actually really like this song a lot. They asked me for a tutorial, and this song is complex enough to the point where I can't show you both hands at once, given how small of a frame I have to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you each hand separately for each part, and then put them together and give you the best angle of me playing them together to show you how it sounds. So I guess we'll see how this goes. The right hand for the introduction is going to go as follows. Once more, I'll play those notes a little slower so you can see. That's your right hand introduction. So moving on down the keyboard, your left hand is going to be playing in the introduction a series of three melodic intervals. Melodic means you play them separately and you move up as you're going through each one of these. So I'll play it slow enough so you can see. Play those one more time so you can see. That's your left hand introduction. So given how straightforward the left hand is, I think it's going to be in your best interest for me to show you the right hand and let you see how it kind of plays with what the left hand is doing. So this is your introduction, both hands together. That's your introduction. Then during the verses, your right hand is going to be doing the following. so on and so forth. That's your right hand for your verses. Now moving on down to your left hand for the verses, you might recognize that it's similar to what I showed you for the introduction, it's almost exactly the same. Your left hand is going to be doing this. your left hand for the verse. So doing the same thing that I did before for the introduction, 
this is both hands together for the verse. and so forth. In real time it should sound something like this. and so forth. So when you get to the chorus is when things start to get a little bit easy. The right hand chords aren't going to change up all that much and it's pretty straightforward. The right hand chords are going to go as follows. Play those one more time slower so you can see. Your left hand is going to be an octave lower, as I've shown in a lot of my videos. Um, it's going to go as follows. When you put the two hands together, it should sound something like this. There's your chorus. Now you might notice in the second verse when the lead singer's like, What would it take for it to be quiet? Everything's going to drop out for a second and your progression's going to change up a little bit from what I showed you before. So I'm going to show you that now. Drop out. I'll play that one more time a little bit slower so you can see. out. Now if you go back to the right hand part that I showed you for the first verse, that's going to stay the same except that it's going to drop out in the same part that the left hand just dropped out in. So putting the right hand together with the left hand variation that I just showed you, you should get something like this.
so on and so forth. Now you'll notice the second time you go into the chorus there's a bit of a lead in on a higher instrumental piano part. The left hand for this part is going to go as follows. That's your left hand. Your right hand is going to go as follows. Once more I'll play it a little slower so you can see. If you put the two hands together it should sound something like this. And then you go right back into this should be a lot lower. Once more, it's going to go like this. And there you have it. Louder Than Thunder by the Double Wires Prada. If you like these or any of the other videos you've seen on my YouTube channel, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to it. And if you do subscribe, you can send any requests for any other reviews, covers, tutorials, whatever you want, even songs you like. I love music, and I love hearing from you too. So hit that subscribe button, get at me with song suggestions, and I'll see you next time.